All right, so continuing our little trend of problems and all that good stuff, let's go ahead and um, do problem number six. So I've kind of copied the solution from the last problem here because uh, problem six is based on problem five. So we have a velocity, and uh, we want to know when the car is going to arrive in San Francisco. So we're going to use x final equals v naught t plus our initial position. So we've got plenty of ways of solving this. Let's just say that our final position is zero, which is San Francisco. We're going 52 miles an hour north. We want to know how much time it's going to take us. And we start at an initial position, which is 52 miles south of San Francisco. So it doesn't take a lot of algebra to see that it's going to take us one hour from 52 miles south. You get to San Francisco. If you try doing it the other way, you get 13 miles south. Uh, 13 miles south, you'll actually end up getting uh, 15 minutes or 0.25 hours. All right. Uh, problem seven, you're in the stands watching a horse race. Um, again, this is just more drill and kill. So um, I think this is just going to be the last one where I, where, where I do this because I think at this point you should sort of have an idea how to do these. And I kind of want you to practice on your own. So um, what we'll do is this. We've got a um, horse so on here. The horse runs from negative 12.5 to... 17.3, um, so this is x initial, this is x final, and the time is 1.75 seconds. So once again, x final minus x initial is delta x, and let's just plug in our numbers. So that's going to be 17.3 minus negative 12.5, which ends up giving me um, 29.8 meters. So um, the velocity is going to be delta x over time, which is 29.8 divided by 1.75 seconds. So when I go ahead and get that, uh, we end up actually getting um, 17 meters per second. All right, so just when I lost hope of problems being simple, I realized this one's a little trickier. So first, let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to actually label a few, couple things here. So I know that this is time, and I know that this is velocity. And uh, I don't know. This might be – I haven't read the problem carefully. I know it's a position, but it might be x or x final or x – I'm not sure what it is. So I'm just going to leave it as one of those and, and, and just kind of try to draw a picture. So we say a bicyclist reaches his first, his furthest destination and turns around to pedal home from a ride. Um, so he pedals south at a velocity of 6.5 meters per second for 42 minutes, and at that time he's 4.2 miles north of home. Where was he when he turned around? So let's see. Um, we'll make home the origin. And uh, we'll say that that's our reference point, so this is zero. Now, it turns out that we have some kind of x furthest here. Uh, and it looks like that might be where we start from as far out as, as that. And then what ends up happening is that we reach some kind of x final here. And we're told that that is 4.2 miles north. Okay. Um, so, first of all, um, I don't like this uh, because we have miles and meters and it's kind of weird and we, and we have this velocity of v-naught equals 6.5 meters per second. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these miles. So 4.2 miles times 1609 meters in one mile using that bubble method. When we go ahead and do that, we're going to get... 6,757.8 meters. Right. So we're going to end up getting 6,757.8 meters. Excellent. Um, so also, I need to make this velocity negative since it's in the south direction. Um, so it's very important. So um, we want to know where he was when he turned about. So let's uh, go ahead and use the formula x equals v naught t plus x naught. Um, so we end up 4.2 miles north 
um, but we need to not do that. We need to do it in meters. So 6,757.8 equals traveling south, negative 6.5. Um, and the time was 42 minutes. So we need to convert 42 minutes into seconds. So that's uh, 60 seconds in one minute. And that's going to give us 2,520 seconds um, plus our initial position that we don't know what it is. So now uh, we go ahead and we calculate x naught, and that's going to end up being 6,757.8 plus um, this thing multiplied together. So when I go ahead and multiply 6,000, sorry, 6.5 times 2,520, that actually ends up giving me 16,380 meters. And when I add that to 6,757.8, I end up getting 23,137.8 meters. And um, if you want to convert that into miles, I won't tell you how I did that, I ended up getting 14.3 miles north and north. So that's the idea. Uh, so that's actually a good problem, and uh, we'll move on to the next page in a second. These are some of our distance and displacement problems, and uh, we're going to do a little bit of work on this, and, um, and go ahead and just jump in and get started. So we have a jogger on a circular track, and make it fourth of a way around the track in 60 seconds, and the track has a radius of 100 meters. Uh, we actually didn't show it below, so let's go ahead and show that now. So here's the track, here's the radius of 100 meters, and whenever we say that a jogger starts um, a track, we're going to start them the positive x axis, kind of like if this is our axis, and this is x and y, we're going to start them there on the right, and then they make it a quarter of the way around right there. So, um, the distance is going to be a quarter of the circumference. So that's going to be 1 fourth times 2 times pi times r, uh, which is going to be 1 half times pi times 100, which is 50 pi. And when we actually calculate that, we'll get 157 meters, roughly. Excellent. Now, that's the distance. If we want to get the displacement, let's be careful. I'm actually going to blow this picture up a little bit just so you can see it more clearly. We start here and we end up here. So this is x initial and this is x final. Now let's think about this. Here's the problem. I know that this is 100 meters from the center and I know that this is 100 meters. The problem is I need to know this distance, this straight line distance, right here. So clearly if I look at the picture, I realize I've moved northwest. To get the displacement, I actually have to use Pythagoras' theorem. So that's going to end up being 100 squared plus 100 squared under a square root, which is 100 radical 2, which is 141 meters northwest. Um, so you're expected to remember Pythagoras' theorem in this class. So remember c squared, a squared, b squared. Um, so if you've forgotten that, unforget it. All right. Uh, then we go for the average speed of the jogger. Um, so that's going to be 157 meters. Um, distance is rate times time. And uh, we're told that that's in 60 seconds. Um, so 157 divided by... 60 gives me 2.61 meters per second, if I have that right. Um, looks like I do. And then when we go for the average velocity, that's going to be 141 divided by 60, because this is um, distance over time, and that's displacement over time. And so 141 divided by 60 ends up being 2.35 meters per second. And you'll find that's kind of a general rule that average velocity is always equal to or slower than average speed. All right, ooh, position versus time graph. Um, 
So we want to, what is the car's velocity? What direction is it moving? I'll tell you right now, um, this review question, you should know how to do this by now. Um, but if you're the one person that hasn't been awake during class, um, let's do rise over run to get the slope. So look at this. We got one, two, three, four seconds here. And let's get the rise here. So that's 150 and that's 90. So that's 60. So it looks like if we get rise over run, we're going to get V naught is 15 meters per second. And uh, it looks like it's moving away from us because the slope is positive. It's, it's just beautiful. Um, they would want to see work, so you know you you'd actually need to do like 150 minus 90 well, divided by 10 minus 6 and do all that other good stuff. So wow. So these um, you guys should know this by now. We've done this a lot in class. All right. Constant velocity, so there's just a lot more stuff here to kind of practice. So we got a bunch of constant velocity problems, good stuff to kind of to kind of practice. Um, so I think actually this might be a good point to stop, um, and we'll do this in the next video.